Vinny, this is my new favorite jam. Yeah, Patrick. We're flying with the dragons. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have karaoke mode on. Oh what? Uh, it's just, it's not Capcom safe. LTD 2012. No. At least they spelled it right. What's up, Dogma? This oh, is dragons, good timing. Nicely done. Right at the drop. Take well, me to the loading bridge. You know how many times I've listened to that <laughs> damn song because. In most games, you can just leave it at its title screen, yeah. walk away for a little bit, and that's okay. Yeah, you've gotten the loop a couple of times. I felt a little guilty a couple of times in the office when I've just left it on, but oh, I've been gone for several minutes. What that a, song is still going. <laughs> well, Dragon's Dogma, Capcom's uh, stab at uh, fantasy. Uh, fantasy, yeah, I would say uh, Capcom looking at Bethesda and saying we're gonna do something, is this something like that. Yeah, there's DLC. This is this is telling you like, yo. If you want to get some more, for the last oh yeah, for the last week I've been playing uh, the retail game, but uh, there was a title update that went out uh, when this came out, or I guess it pushed on Monday. It's, just, it's Tuesday. Uh, so yeah, this is the first set of DLC. This comes yeah. uh, just after Capcom said we're going to change our DLC policy. Yeah. But in that statement said uh, Dragon's Dogma was going to be okay. So it's going to have a lot of stuff on the disc, but I will say uh, there's plenty of stuff to do in this game. Oh wow, another menu. Uh, you said one save slot, right? One save slot, uh, which isn't isn't really that much of a problem. It's more one of those, you know, for our purposes. Yeah, uh, you know, you can be tough when you're playing through the game and you realize you've gotten to a cool moment that right. kind of shows off all the mechanics but of the game. You can't really stop playing because you gotta right play for other reasons. Right. Uh, yeah. So doing this juggling act of oh, like games that. on the hard drive, games on the cloud, <laughs> games on USB sticks. Uh, so I like that little loading animation. Yeah. All right. So this is Dragon's Dogma. Which one are you? I'm this girl. Okay. Who's with you? Now these are my. So you you can have up to four pawns. Uh, you can also elect. Well, I think you got what's a pawn? Like just pawns are your are your partners. Uh, that okay. like in a Monster Hunter game would be playable characters or they're just AI. Pawn is just a a name for the the characters come along in your journey. They are okay. technically human-like creatures that exist on a different plane of existence, mm, okay. uh, but they don't, I guess, have emotions. So, Oi, Oi. Uh, which is a Dark Tower reference, okay. um, is my main pawn. Okay. Uh, so he so is you with made me, him. I made him, I customized his look, so I customized his make, loadout. Out of all the people, you decided to make Oi. I decided to make Oi. You didn't want to make the gunstringer? No. You, you didn't want well, to make I, the, my the heroin addict guy? My, char my character is uh, you make Odetta. the cool lady? Oh, yeah, so I'm the okay. lady. Uh, and then which or, one's Odetta? Is she, is she the good one or the bad one? She's she, the good one. Which, which part of the personality is she? Uh, oh, God. Uh, Susanna. Odetta's the good one. Odetta's the good one? Uh, I, I can't remember. Uh, and they merge at some point. So anyways, and then Oi is the dog. Like yeah. the little dog creature that follows them uh, through uh, the drawing of the three. Uh, so anyway, yes. Dark Tower aside. <laughs> there you go. I don't like the way that series ended. Uh, either did I. And mm -hmm. I hope they never make a movie because there's no way it can live up to uh, the way that... That series in my head. So the, <laughs> these other two, uh, Quintus and Lady Pants, mm. are user-created pawns. Okay. So not I, by you though. Not by me. They are made by uh, other users. It's one of the reasons I waited and didn't play this game on a debug was I wanted to see how this pawn system started working once this is out so in the you, real world. So you you somehow uh, brought them into your world from yep. the pawn pool. I will go back and look at that. I'm gonna okay. sh shove a little bit of the combat first to show you a little bit how this. Boy is uh, chatty. Oh, everybody in this game, real chatty. That's uh, a that's an odd place to put all the text too. Is that ever getting in the way? It's kind of MMO-ish. No, it does. It doesn't. It doesn't really get in the way. At least I haven't found it to be too much of an issue. Uh, there should be some bandits up here. So, uh, so main combat. Yeah. I can jump. Yep. Uh, light attack. Gotcha. Heavy attack. Gotcha. Uh, I can grab people. Uh, usually, do? you don't want to grab people. Okay. Your other guys will grab people, and then you can slash them. Okay. Kind of add some additional damage, and then. Uh, uh, Left trigger, right trigger brings up sort of my modifiers. Uh, so in my case, I'm trigger playing... Trigger or bumper? A trigger. Okay. Uh, in my case, I am playing... Uh, I guess now I'm a... I changed classes. Magic Archer. I started as sort of a, a ranged character that had daggers uh -huh. uh, and then switched uh, once I maxed it out. So you see those little red... Little red, like, ribbons? That is basically you... Uh, maxing out the available skills in each class. So okay. then you can stick to that and then just have like your preferred loadout play through the game. Or mid-game you can switch 
to uh, a different uh, primary class or a hybrid class. Does that cost you anything? Uh, very little. Okay. Uh, it's, it, the game definitely encourages you to swap classes and uh, so, so some skills will transfer over, some skills won't, so it's not like you can just play all the classes and have the best, the best of everything. I will say this game has one of my least favorite things about fantasy games in it, which is your weapon looks like it's floating on your back. A little bit, yeah. So what I like about this character class is that uh, I can kind of hang back, I can have my, my mages casting buffs, catching spells. Uh -huh. Yeah, you have no direct control over your pawns. No, you can you can uh, load them out. So, for example, my main panel pawn uh, pawn pan, uh, Oi yeah. has pretty much all uh, attack spells, uh, and then the other mage that I've, I've recruited has a bunch of support skills like health, buffs. Uh, see, now I have ice on my on my, my swords. Okay, on my daggers. And so, they just did that. You didn't have to yep. tell them to enchant. All right, all obviously all real time combat, and you actually like you like the combat. Mechanics, I think right? I think the combat's great. Uh, it's a little it, it takes a little uh, time to get used to the fact that you don't have a lock on, which is kind of mm. like a standard feature in games. But I, I haven't found that to be. So you, you don't find yourself getting hit from behind or losing track of guys. Uh, you do, but you just sort of. It's not gonna ruin the experience. No, I don't, I don't think it ruins the experience. I think it's just a different style of game, uh, and. Uh, wouldn't make sense when you start getting into fighting the larger creatures where you want direct control over how you're going to be jumping on the things. So when you're using this bow though, it, as long as the dude is inside your little, your larger uh, circle there, it'll hit that, hit him? Yep. Okay. Uh, and so I, my magic archer has the, you know, a bit of a, a lock-on capability, yeah. but the normal archer that I was playing for does not. Okay. So you would Jeez. actually have to do the the physical aiming. Uh, my my arrows are less powerful, but I can kind of just like fire them off. Yeah. Unlimited arrows. Yep. Cool. Uh, you can uh, craft more powerful arrows, uh, such as blast arrows, sleeper arrows, blinding arrows, gotcha. poison arrows. So you have cool. options there, but your sort of base level arrows, you you, you don't have to worry about. You can kind of just combat animations are nice, out. nice and punchy. Yeah, it it feels. You feel real powerful, and you feel like you have a lot of control over what's happening. And uh, with the way they've set up the classes and the, the way you can switch between them, I found myself, you know, it's you have a lot of uh, really encouraging options to switch things. And if you don't like it, you can switch back, and it's it's not a huge consequence. Uh, do your dudes just auto pop behind you if you get too far? They're just kind of yes. okay. You don't have to worry about. They, like, they're still idiots. You don't have uh, to they worry will. about the pathing and the. Uh, I just ran out of stamina. Uh, uh, you you know like uh, they deep water they'll fall in and just straight up die and sometimes they'll just do that for for no particularly good reason. Okay. Um, so we'll we'll jump into the town and I'll show you sort of how the the skill loadouts work before we go venture to kill a griffin. Yay! Which uh, in this game fighting the sort of big epic monsters is is really the reason you're playing this and again sort of speaks to Capcom's like primary skill set uh, especially given the Monster Hunter series over the last couple of years. So you were saying uh, maybe the world not so fleshed out. No. Uh, the world doesn't have, I feel like, a lot of character to it. Uh, it doesn't uh, have a lot of sense of place. It's sort of just a generic fantasy land. I don't know if I like this guy's face. Uh, the models that guy looks are like, kind of plain. It kind of looks like a texture map that hasn't been wrapped around something. Yeah. Uh, so vocations are, are classes. So even though I started as, started as a strider. Okay, so strider means that... Daggers, bows. That was your default thing. So that it was the one I picked zero up. Zero to go back to uh, your default. Yep. So that means I've maxed that out. I can go back to that if I want. Uh, discipline is something uh, is uh, is something you gain more of as you level up. Uh, you get plenty of it. Uh, okay. So you ne you never have to feel like if I'm going down this skill tree or this skill path that I'm not going to be able to to modify later. Mm -hmm. There seems to be always options to. And you'll keep your experience in the magic archer. Yeah. Yeah. And, okay. and I guess your stats do tailor based on uh, which class you're picking. So, uh, you know, if you were to pick, you know, a mage and then a fighter, uh, you know, it's the, 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 the stats would then change. It wouldn't be like giving you stats more into magic anymore gotcha. because you, you switched over to a fighter. But uh, yeah, you can switch for, for yourself and Whoa. for other people. Oh, okay. So, you're, so you're, uh, your primary pawn, you can also change his vocation. Yep, and so you can go on at, at any time. It's unfortunate that sometimes uh, you'll get into areas where certain skills would be really useful, but because this game doesn't have fast travel, uh, uh, you're kind of stuck 
uh, with what you've got. Uh, so but you want to spend the half hour to run back or something? Yeah, like? yeah, and you have like stones that can get you back to where you're going. But I, I found that uh, the way to kind of solve that is just to treat. I got I brought in two mages, and so like I said before, like uh, my primary mage. Uh, he's dealing with all these sort of attack spells. Necrom I just got necromancy, That's cool. which means he can uh, summon the dead. Uh, he can blind that. foes when he come in. There's a there's a poison one. So he's kind of dealing out a bunch of damage while uh, the mage I've recruited uh, is doing healing, uh, dispelling uh, do you have, different status effects. Did you lose your recruited dudes? Are they, are they gone? Oh, no, no, they're, 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 so they'll, you, get, they'll get caught behind, but they, they catch up. Do, uh, do you have to go to a certain place to recruit guys, or can you do it? Yeah, it's right, it's right over here. So if you find yourself in the midst of a battle that you are not well prepared for, you can't even summon other no. dudes? Okay. No, you're, 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 you're kind of stuck. Kinda stuck. Uh, and it is, it is one of those games that uh, does not checkpoint. Uh, kind of like Skyrim, where like, well, as soon as you get into the game, you realize... Oh, if, if I've gone 45 minutes on this big world without saving, I'm going to lose it. a lot right. if I get like caught by some, some giants. Whoa. So this is the Rift World, and the Rift World is where you access pawns. What's up, Rift? So oh, you, you'll, find, you'll find pawns that are not, I don't think are player created. Oh my god, you just entered like Dark Souls. I think, they, I think that are created uh, just by the game uh, when you're just wandering the world. So if you suddenly decide, hey, I, I don't need this archer, I need a, a fighter class, uh, you, can, you can run into guys... So th this will just spawn in random ones, but then if I go up to the rift store, <coughs> uh, special pawns do not appear to be active yet. Mm. I think that's going to be like special Capcom ones. <coughs> Excuse me. So can you? Oh, or maybe those are like DLC pawns. So you can you can search by top ranked, like the ones that have been used the most by players. And can you sort by your friends? Yeah, it's not. Mm. Let's see. No. Let's see. Try search conditions. <coughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me. All right, everyone here is still getting over yeah. the sickness. Uh, it doesn't appear unless I'm missing something. You can sort by friends, but okay. say you're looking for something really specific. Mm -hmm. uh, you, it does have all these search options uh, cool. for you to kind of figure out who you're looking for, and it is really crucial to to make sure you have these balanced out because uh, the game has some some pretty intense di difficulty spikes when you encounter. Uh, like skeletons, and you don't have any uh, holy buffs. Like it's it's a real pain in the ass to take them out. Um, is that how much that guy? What's ninety nine six one nine RCs? So RC, I think, is recruitment points. I think that, that's that, that sounds like for. a lot. Uh, I have a ton. Uh, so let's say. So the way you can kind of break part of this game is. Let's see. Let me go back. Uh, ba -ba -ba. What's quest knowledge? They can come back when they when they go off. Uh, I think with uh, you can search for some characters that have a greater knowledge of some of the quests that you're on, so they can like have updated information about oh, something you're looking for rather than weak having to fire to, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's not super clear how that stuff is delineated, but um, and also when you uh, when you rest at an inn, uh, it will your guy your main pawn goes out and fights with people, and he can come back with additional knowledge about somebody else can use. Yeah, them. gotcha. Yeah. Let's see. Where is the uh, Do you know what that little hand means? Uh, like the little shaking hands thing? Oh, sorry. Little shake. Oh, I was back on one of those other. Yeah, that's. Oh, uh, mm, I don't know. Weird. Let's, let's try this. Uh, yeah. Okay. So. Oh, the way I've the way I've. Friends list. Oh, there it is. Oh, cool. And then you kind of like in pawns, your main pawn knows, so you can like kind of go back through people that he's he's worked with. Yeah, yeah, that's cool that you can do your friends list. Cause so then this uh, basically allows you to. So I clearly don't have enough to get a nine pawn. <laughs> no, you don't. But with a hundred thousand, you could get one. I could, dude I could, I could summon people that are well above. And will that do anything to your world? Level. Like uh, split the XP differently, or no? Nope, uh, because uh, and anything that uh, your pawns attack. Uh, immediately become uh, your XP, uh, and the game does not uh, level the enemies based on your level. It's okay. they it eventually will spawn in uh, new ranks of characters. Uh, but uh, so like if I we'll just bring like level fifty if I wanted that. This will find a level fifties that exist in the game. Add this. To your oh list. gosh, how many can you bring in? Uh, this is just brings them into this little world. Oh, to like check them out. Yeah. So, Audition them. Well, yeah, because you know part of. Any game where you have like are outfitting your characters is like you want a bunch of a bunch of badasses with yeah, you. Yeah, look cool. Not a big fan of the name Lady Pants, but no. she is a great support class. Uh, so now know, they so now they spawn in. 
This guy looks kind of cool. I don't know about his mustache. Uh, so you can add that to favorites if you're like, hey, I don't eat them now, or I don't have enough for But I might want to come back to this I guy. I want to come back. Yes, I don't, I don't want if that. You should ever need anything else. Yeah. Does it tell you the this gamer tag? Crazy. Rude Awakening. Hmm. No, it doesn't have the creator's name on it. No, so maybe, maybe this is one uh, yes, is created it? by the game. You should ever need he has no soul! Uh, so yeah, so I, I, my guys are already pretty high level, but uh, this is something you come back to often, and it's you can outfit your pawns with equipment, but there is no reason to, because you're going to be cycling through pawns uh, pretty much every couple of levels. And you can, you can bring up to two pawns, or you have three yes. with you? I have three, because you have the one that you've okay, created. Okay, so you can summon up to two other pawns. Can you yeah. not bring your pawn if you don't want to? I don't know. Um, I had seen uh, there is a, a class specialization called uh, the Assassin that seems suited towards people that want to try and solo the game. Mm -hmm. So, so maybe, maybe there is a way to, to dismiss, dismiss your your pawn if you want to do that. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Um, <laughs> the, this the seems game, pretty helpful. They are. Uh, the the only real problem, yeah, is that uh, I mean I don't. It seems like really within the limitations of the controller. Uh, to give you any sort of direct access over how those pawns act. You can sit down at what's called a knowledge chair and, <laughs> yeah, and basically chair. give them AI commands, like sort of like recommendations, like, hey, when immediately in battle, do you oh, want okay. me to cast this? It's like logic? Right. Okay. Uh, so you can kind of set some uh, main directives for them, but uh, it's you, you don't have the direct control that, that you really would want sometimes. Really? All right, so now we're, we're going to set off, and this will... Uh, bring up one of the first kind of problems I have with, like main problems that just logistically is that hand it's upside down. Is, is upside oh there down. it is. Flip. Uh, so this is a big map. So I've played this game probably twenty hours. Well, you don't know if that that could just be mountains. Who knows? Maybe not. Oh yeah, uh, or maybe not. So this is the area. This is the whole map. Uh, but I hope not. Otherwise, that is that is a lot of that map. Uh, and maybe some of that I can fill up with DLC. It's a river. But, it's just a big um, lake. The game doesn't have fast travel, so like even though I've been to it's like this and this, another like a stronghold like this, I can't just get there. Uh, so I've you can't like hire a buggy or some nope. kind of horse. Nope. Uh, I've I've since heard that basically after this quest that we're we're on now, uh, you can acquire something called a port crystal okay. that allows you to set down. New fast travel locations. Okay. But you know, I, I've I've been playing this game for quite a bit. Quite a bit. Uh, but I guess I had heard that. I feel like you put in your time, and you should be able to fast travel by this point. Yeah. I mean, if they want to make it a steep sacrifice for me to do that, <laughs> I get it. Um, it's just because the world isn't that interesting, and it's it's not like I just want to. Wander what? from place to place and see what I see what I come across because that's what I would do in Skyrim all yeah. the time. Yeah, are, are there random dungeons or random quests you run into? Uh, it, you said not really. I mean, there'll, there'll be instances where the game uh, will sometimes spawn in uh, random uh, epic moments. Uh, you know, for lack of a, a better term, of like the giant creatures uh, that that you have to hop onto and have sort of special uh, kill cases. Um, but there, there's no way to guarantee any of that stuff will happen, and it doesn't happen often enough. And you kind of said this isn't really a loot-based game, right? No, I mean, you, you come across treasure chests, but it's... Uh, it, I mean, it, there's a certain Diablo on the brain recently, I think. You know, yeah. the way that game handles loot is excessive, perhaps. Well, I mean, uh, same thing with, with, you know, not to compare it to Skyrim too much, but, you know, Skyrim also had a go into these dungeons because you might find some kind of awesome sword or, or you know, re yeah, or, not, reward your exploration. <coughs> not, not, not a whole lot of that stuff, or at least... Uh, it doesn't seem to tailor enough of the loot that you do find specific to your class. So the stuff that I, I have found things that are worth like 80,000 gold, which is, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Um, Whoa. Is that a special attack? Yeah. That's cool. But uh, the, the, the loot that I do find, it doesn't benefit me. Uh, and I like that. Yeah, I, I love playing as this class. I love how fast I can get around. Yeah, the combat does seem uh, does seem fun. But man, 
Do, do you have subtitles turned on? Could you, could you turn that off? If I you could want? turn it off. Okay, don't. We're gonna but... do, we're, we could do the opposite of what we do in a quick look. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yeah. So traditionally, I do have them turned off. Um, I, I had them on here just to sort of emphasize sort of their... Because, man, they are chatty folks. Yes. And they don't give an out that much useful information. I mean, they do sometimes. Uh, they will kind of they can sometimes give you strategies that are worthwhile. Mm. Uh, see, this is an occasion where I am now ice buffed, but it doesn't do shit for me because <laughs> these guys are not these guys are weak to fire. So, oh, here we go. Maybe he'll give it to me. Oh no, it's fire more. What was that little cutscene? So there are times when your characters do something that's particularly noteworthy that the game will kind of pause and say, "Hey." Right. All right, they're all telling you to use fire. Right. So that's that's what you're saying by some little uh, hints. Yeah, except that you know I, I can't use fire I, until until they give it to me. Uh, I mean, the only way you could really guarantee that is if you were to limit the characters that you recruited and also your own uh, to never ca to not have the even ability to cast fire. But there are plenty of, like there are hobgoblins. Uh, are weak to ice, uh, so I like having the ice. So it's kind of just gotta wait till it runs out, and, and then uh, hope that someone will cast it on you. I mean, it's 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 not that big of a deal. Uh, it just comes up often enough that you, you wish really you wish could you had just a little a, a little a little more influence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, to dismiss a spell, uh, and then hopefully that would cause them to default to something else. Like one of the skills for my character is actually. Uh, so you'll see when I do this, I get caught in an animation that I can't get out of. Uh, there's actually a secondary skill that gets you out of that. Oh wow, it's, a, it's an actual skill? It's an actual skill that like causes it. Break? Yeah, it just anim breaks the animation. Uh, which is kind of neat, because yeah, there'll be times when this is super powerful. Yeah. Uh, but... Uh, you we'll get miss me, or something? We'll, yeah, we'll, I'll miss and uh, end up getting caught behind somebody. Stamina bars, huh? Yeah, uh, not usually a, a problem, like in the middle of combat, I found. Oh, there's an ogre. Here we go. Uh, but... During these sequences where I'm trying to cover, like I'm trying to go way over there, like we see in the distance. Okay. Uh, we could travel that pretty quickly, but not perhaps. Oh, well, that quickly. is an ogre. So this will be one of the first sort of epic moments. And again, this not not scripted. Uh, this kind of just comes across as you're going around. I think I have to. An ogre is part of one of my side quests. I will switch. Here. Oh, it's it's in my ogre head. knife. Well, there's equipment, and then there are is your like inventory. It's separate. <laughs> Let's try. And one of the other cool things is. So those special arrows are limited. Yeah. Last arrow. Okay. Well, that sounds like. Oh, I guess I can't use the blast arrows. Mmm. Alright, we'll do poison now for now. Oh, wait, what? Oh! Does not work on my magic. My magic bow? Maybe I haven't used that since I switched weapons. Damn, okay. So, it'll actually pop up sort of these like. Hey, this is actually a quest now because oh, there gotcha. are epic enough enemies right. that the game will give you kind of a bonus for not running away. So, you grabbed him? Yep. Now you're climbing on. So try and shake me off, and your stamina bar comes into play here. Gotcha. And, you, and you have items that can help you not reduce your stamina. It's like a little shadow of the Colossus. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Do you have to do anything to stay on, or just hold the button? Just hold the right trigger, uh, or right button, uh, and. Oh man, uh, you're just clippy, clippy, huh? Yeah, this stuff is, is not great. It could be a little, oh, that tree's through his head! It used, it used to look a lot worse, I'll say that. Uh, oh, slicing them up. So you want to get up here, you cause a lot more damage. And then just, don't get eaten! I don't want, I'm not dealing with those guys right now. Oh yeah, this thing, that's like doing nothing. Nope. And those, uh, those little dots are how many health bars he's gonna go through? Yep. Any other useful items? See, if I got fire, 
Um, then I can throw oil on him. And then just and roast light him. light him on fire. Ah, damn, that pisses me off that I can't use this. I didn't know that. So there are, yeah, that's, this is a case where I built all these arrows and was using them in my, in my previous archer build. But the yeah. magic archer, I guess, cannot use, cannot use these. Uh... But now, I, now I have actually given him fire damage. Oh, yeah, he doesn't like that at all. And, and the game does, you know, really encourages you to mess around with status effects. So attacking me in the head—that's the best. That's your best thing. Yeah, different enemies will have sort of different. What? That's just a separate quest that I failed. Did uh, time out or something? No, it probably means that I had a guy following me related to <coughs> a completely separate quest. Oh, what is? You reach some like trigger point. Uh, yeah, when you knock them over. Kinda, like, hit him in the eye. Oh, all right, hit him in the testicles. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> knock him in the balls. Sometimes you'll have guys following you for an escort quest, even though you're not on that escort quest. Uh -huh. And if they die in battle, then you just fail it. But I've I've failed those in the past, and then you just go back to. The town, the town board, and that, and that quest is there all over again. Come on. Woo! You got him! Oh, watch out, Lady Pants! So the one, the one thing there are there is in terms of loot or drops is uh, crafting items. Can so you walk like, Can you walk through them? No. Put my head in them. Yeah, that's good. What if we go over here? Don't Can I put my head in there? Oh, <laughs> that's the one time the game chooses not to clip. <laughs> it's, you know, it's tasteful. Uh, one of the other interesting... So what'd you get? Wait, what'd you get? I, rugged Tusk. It's not... That's just a generic. Okay. So you'll have... Uh, you have items that you have to collect to... to uh, not to craft new weapons, but to uh, enhance the ones that you do have back okay. in, the, in the town. Uh, but you also... Any of your items um, can be combined... With those, so you kind of there's like an in uh, in inventory. Uh, Got gotcha. you. Crafting system, and the nice thing is, is that uh, so even though there's weight and you have to take that in consideration for how that rebuilds your stamina, uh, you can put any of your loot into any of the other characters, and it will check cross character if you can combine that to make anything. So you see, even though I'm in Odetta's uh, inventory, yeah, it'll pull from always. That's uh, cool. If you want to cool. craft anything, so rather than having to like. Dump everything into your heavy yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. it, 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 make, it makes sure to to keep tabs on that. So sorry, you were gonna say the game does what? After you oh, so you see, notice the health in the corner. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna run past these guys. Sure. Eventually, they'll just stop chasing us. I want to try and get closer. Uh, the health is my health isn't full anymore. Um, and so as as you get damaged, uh, your overall uh, health that can be filled up due to spells. Mm. Dissipates. Okay, um, so you can only get to where that gray bar right. is. Okay. Uh, no, but if you eat items, if you create, uh, and this is what encourages you to like use the crafting system and to be gathering things around you, uh, you can get that back up to be full. Okay. Uh, it's just in terms of pure magic, there's only so much you can do, and that deteriorates over time. Can you rest an inn or something? Yeah, that, and okay. that yeah, that'll automatically fill it up. I mean, it's, it's not like necessarily a not pretty game, it's just sort of bland. Mm. Like, I just don't, I don't feel like it has a lot of style to it. These are harpies. They'll put us to sleep. You don't want that? Are they snow harpies again? Yeah, snow harpies are the evolved, the oh. Pokemonized version of the regular harpies that I've been encountering for the beginning part of the game. I think, I think I'm rough, like somewhere between halfway, uh... This is your windy area in which it's hard to run? Yes. If I was a heavier character, I guess but it would apparently be Apparently it would be... Right. You get real tired. Running against uh, the wind? No, of that frickin' harpy noise. Oh. Name the player. One does. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. We're about to get to the point where I died last night. Oh, nice. But, uh, so one of the things that the game does is that uh, there's a day-night cycle uh, that you can self-determine uh, by going to an inn and saying, Hey, I, w oh. 
Oh, oh, those are big apples. Get that apple. Actually, I do want that apple. Oh. <laughs> apples. Health. Cure you real well. Can you combine apples and make some apple juice or something? I can create something unknown. Do it! With something else I don't have. Oh. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the night cycle is basically when you want to grind. Uh, so there are just tons more enemies okay. out uh, that you have to take care of. Them. There are way more powerful enemies. Uh, and, uh, and also, if you stick to the road, there are fewer enemies. So the, the game does give you sort of like helpful tips on like how much do you want to engage in combat. But also, I mean, oh boy. the game respawns everything every single time. So other than the epic moments, yeah, it's it can be a little. So that's why you were kind of just running past some guys. Yeah, it's like, just I don't I don't want to fight these guys. Uh, yeah. so it will not turn tonight unless you go to the end. I uh, know it will. Okay, it'll turn on. Its it, own. it has yeah, it has a natural cycle, but you can force it early. Oh fuck. So Lady Pants went down, but she got back up, uh, and Oi is down. You just revive them? Yep. And then will, will they get their Fuck. health back? Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Who's hitting you? There's an archer. No. Oh. Okay, let's hope I don't die. Oh. Let's go get that apple. I gave that apple away. You did. Idiot. Let's see what I got. Ew. Aw. Oh. What about your cool fire up in the air move? Oh, I got slow down on me. I gotta go. Come on. Oh, you are. Yeah, there's a reason I died here. Yeah, these guys are giving it to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is there a little Monty Python in there. Who's down? Oh. One more. So what if you grab him? Nothing, nothing good. Uh, I can. Ah, oh, throw him off that cliff. Yeah. Is he dead? Not sure. Did he take pretty gnarly fall damage? Man, whoever is firing those arrows at you needs to die. Where is it coming from? No. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Oh, that guy didn't die. He didn't die? That's bad. I mean, yeah, they do take fall damage, but, but it's not gonna clearly damage. that wasn't enough. <laughs> Oof. Man, all right. Oof. So your health does regen up until that gray bar? Up at, yeah, up until that gray bar. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Something else wants to get you. They're on, master. Yeah, um, <laughs> thanks for the helpful tip, Oi. Oi. About as smart as Oi in the Dark Tower series. Keep moving. Is Oi like a collie? Or is he like an alien dog? It's like, yeah, I think he has three eyes. I can't remember. Oh, so man. I... That animation of them getting hit is pretty goofy. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh. Jesus. Do you feel like here, you are under leveled or are you just kind of rushing in here or. Uh. Both? Mildly under leveled, but. Hadn't been prior to this point. Uh, also, my problem is I have no archer oh, like support classes. Range. Shit. Okay. 
I can knock him off his pedestal. Alright, so that's pretty that's pretty powerful. What's nice about this attack is that it knocks guys in the air, so sometimes it will I can knock that guy on the ground. Yeah. Do you have a block? Or not for this no. character? Just getting rocked. Yeah. Maybe I should have paid what? for that. Oh, you should not cast? Really? What is going on here, Patrick? I have to run through this section. Let's just see what's on the other side. Fuck you. Fuck you. Knives, 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 knives! Foot. It's kind of hard to see what's going on. Can be. Yeah, once more spells get in there. Yeah, there are more guys joining the fray. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Whew! Okay. Yes. <laughs> sure want to save that. Because <laughs> when we finish this quick look, I'm going to have to play that section. <laughs> I don't want to play that section again. Photo sharing. Uh, yeah, so if you get into like a Screenshot no particularly cool moment, you can, you can definitely share that. All right, let's see if we can... Yeah, well... Oh, these wintry herbs are worth anything. Materials. Mm -hmm. Let's make something unknown. Okay. It's really in concoction. What does that do? I think you had one of those already, didn't you? Assuming it may not be as wise. All right, it's fine. Let's bring it. No, I'm not gonna. No, you're just gonna. Not gonna. That's it. Keep Don't going. care. We're, we're, we're trucking. We're trucking. Everybody's got an opinion. Don't worry, guys. I'm. I'm, I'm making <laughs> exe ex executive Come decision. On. I reckon this is good. Let's go. Let's go. I see that yellow character lagging behind. Oh no, there you go. You respond. Uh oh, something spit at you? Yeah, quest failed. Great. I don't know how I could fail an ambush. You failed. I sur you failed survived. To ambush. You're trying to make it to that little broken down castle up there? I don't know. I think so. Close. Okay. Real oh, close. yeah, you're real close. Hopefully, the trigger this, the, the, uh, the other end of this Griffin chase. Otherwise, we'll just swap to my save, which is the first part. I wanted to see if. So you, you, you fight this big griffin and then he... He's he, in stages, basically? Yeah, he, he flies away and this forces you to kind of find the other side of the map, but now I'm starting to wonder... Uh-oh. The Blue Moon yeah, Tower. That's like if a you, whole dungeon I have yeah, to Yeah, if you're going to have to make it through the Blue Moon Tower. We'll, we'll find out. Well, did you get to pick Oi's voice? Yeah. And you just cranked it all the way to the bottom? Yep. Okay. There were supposed to be some dudes that were... I was working with a squad for a while. I don't know. The squad didn't hang out with me, I guess. It's locked! Oh. So there's, oh, so there's a rift stone here. These are, like, kind of scattered throughout the world. So if you wanted to get uh, other guys? Right. Like, if I wanted... Like, on my way back, I would probably get a ranged character. Mm. Because those guys up in the... Oh, they'll the all be respawned? Yeah. 
Oh. Probably. Oh, and they're like also like, hey, you should make sure you have enough crap to get in here. Oh. Let's hurry after them. Yeah. Yeah. We lost a number of men. Please, sir. Right, let's see if we can heal up. Combine this with anything. Ooh, there. That looked good. Okay. Uh, do you get like a s pretty steady progression in levels here, or is it a... Yeah, and, and it's nice because you have like sort of two levels of... Well... <laughs> I'm not really what you're in for right now. Right? Oh boy. I feel like you might be aggroing too many guys. Do they seem to follow you, the bad dudes, or they, they have their own... Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Not having played this game, Patrick, I can't really say how wise this seems. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> they will just spawn behind me. The bad guys or your guys? Oh no, that's gonna be a lock key, isn't it? Nope. All right. Uh, I skipped now, that whole dungeon, Vinny. Now the rest of the guy, those enemies will just. You won't have to worry about them. Oh, go help those dudes, apparently. Go well on that. Oh, is that? Sorry, guys. Hmm. <laughs> what? The griffin is caught in the cutscene. Don't stop. We're exposed here. You get to do it again? Seems Except like it. from the other side. Yeah. Oh. A dumb gate idea. Oh, I have to go around. So do you have? To, oh man. Alright. Well, oh. jump button. Yeah, if you fall, it sucks. Crates. Oh, crates. What happened? I don't know. I guess things aren't going well. All right, just keep, just keep going. Oh, wow. Yeah, if you uh, run, things can get a little dicey. Well, what happens when you die? I don't want to die right now. I'll show you. Okay. Is it just reload your last save? Uh, yeah, but I, we would have to start uh, where I last saved. Yeah. Can you save in combat? Oh well. Okay. Well, what? guys, I guess I could have just stayed there. How about this one? Oh no. That's my that's my catch line. That's my catchphrase. <laughs> this game repeats lines a lot. Oh heroic death. Uh what did that le what did that lever do? Ah, I just kill that thing, right? I guess so. Whoa. Well that's not the most health taken off you'd hope for. No, you can't really do anything until you get it down. Wow. Yeah, that yeah nothing. I mean are by hitting it are you forcing it down or Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you wanna see there we go. Oh, Come on. Can you jump and grab it? Yeah. I don't know if I'm... Oh, he's too high. Man, I... Some of this camera work. Crazy. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's... It's kind of, a, kind of a lot to... I feel like these things are so big and the camera's so tight Oh, in. you are dynamically changing this camera for the first time <laughs> in the game, Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> right, don't run into a pit. Sure, sounds like a good idea. 
Oh, the other guy, the other guy said that first. It's weird. I find this game oddly endearing. Like, it has all sorts of problems that are like so apparent as as you play, like the camera stuff and and, and other things. But I don't, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just that I I like that someone else is given a stab at this and it it directly uh, addresses sort of like a huge criticism I have of Skyrim, which is a game I, I really did love and enjoy. Um, I'm not seeing anything so terrible about it. I don't think you have to qualify it. I think it looks completely serviceable. It's just trying to do something different, uh, I think, and uh, accurately reflects sort of like the strengths and weaknesses of Capcom as a studio. And also, you know, Bethesda's been making these worlds for so long, uh, they sort of have the upper hand on building that stuff. And this, this is Capcom's real first attempt at trying to make that happen. I'm gonna do something <laughs> smart. Um, yeah, it seems it, it seems like a very particular brand of action uh, role playing. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I'm not seeing a lot of Skyrim similarities at all. Maybe the open world stuff, but again, like you said, it doesn't seem like it's that worth exploring. No, and, and that's, that's that's all. You know, ultimately, what makes the game sometimes kind of frustrating is because the world is so big that it's it's completely unnecessarily so. Like they could have gotten a lot more mileage out of the world, I think, without without it being so big. It's over there. What? That glowy? What's that Damn. glowy? I want to run away from this griffin and go to this glowy thing. What? What'd you get? Oh. Oh, there you go. Great. Not sure why this is just Oops. hidden. Maybe they should have given that after you beat him, but what the, whatever. I guess this, they're giving me the loot ahead of time. Okay. So, oh, now you're kicking its ass. So would you say the, uh. I totally lost one of my pawns. Like permanently? The the fighter one. Oh. I held to that guy out on a different quest. Yeah. Why where were you? What's he doing? I don't know. I guess he's just gonna be a support character. Look I made fire! Alright, let's get this beast to the ground. So they want you to use some fire on this thing? It seems like fire candy. Yes. All right. What? Dude, my guys are making short work what of that the? griffin. Is that it? Woo! I wanted to see you like climb and fly. I know, on so did I. Do all sorts of crazy stuff. Crap. My get my oi has this really powerful. All right. It smells like burnt dog. Well, oh Peter. The griffin. Oh Peter, I'm so it sorry. It joys me to see a well-crafted stratagem bear fruit. Pray, let us return to the. Those people all want to chat with you. Is that there? Yeah, now they've got a bunch of probably quest-related stuff. Related to, to the high fives, that. everybody just want to high five Woo! you. Woo! High five this, me. This is grab you. Woo! <laughs> Pantsing him. Ah, I'm reaching around. I'm gonna get you. Oh, I got you. I just like that he shakes a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Oh, I stop. <laughs> what? Why would you do that? <laughs> How can I even you pick, pick my him guy up? up? What? You just carry him. How come there are only two sets of footprints by the Griffin? <laughs> what are you doing? Just throw my guy. Uh, what? Well, I'm sorry that I killed that Griffin so fast. That's it. Do it uh, again. Just reload it and play it again. Great Griffin Claw. Ooh, I bet that's Griffin Craft. So now you have your uh, port stone, right? Yeah, let's, let's see what that says. Uh oh. What? It's limited use? Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's once. Uh, marketplace anywhere, one way to return use of fairy stone transmit you there in an instant. Hmm. Well, that's useful. Uh, it really should have been something much earlier in the game. Uh, but yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I killed that griffin real quick. But the <laughs> some of the, the best moments, you know, that's just, I guess, it's weird because, you know, those enemies that I encounter in the cavern, either I was ill-prepared for without a ranger or was under-leveled, right. and yet come into this griffin and just and destroy it. slaughter it. Yeah. 
Uh, but th th those moments, uh, yeah, that is actually just a regular epic character that, that spawns in the, the world. The Griffin. So you'll just you'll just be you know running around and that guy will just show up. Um, and that that those are some of my favorite moments in the game are when you are just sort of traversing around and then suddenly like are that confronted. Ogre? Yeah, confronted with something uh, really big that you have to deal with. But I think it's an interesting game. Uh, I'm I'm glad I played it uh, and I I'm gonna continue to play it uh, and, and see it through to the end. But uh, it's good to see Japan putting its own. Uh, its best skills to use in, in a genre that definitely could use it. Uh, you know, Kings of Amalur made one stab at it, um, and, and this game's making a sort of a different stab at it, both from the, our worlds aren't that great, but our, our combats, you know, mm -hmm. are at least a little more interesting. So uh, I'd really like to see them to flesh it out. And it's already tailor-made for, for multiplayer. It's just, you know, not going to clearly be in this version of the game. Uh, but uh, I like I like to see them do more of this. I, I think it's a it's a really neat experiment, and uh, I would play more. I would play another Dragon's Dogma, and I would play more of this Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> you haven't even finished this one. Finish what you got first. Finish what's on your plate first, and then uh, you can get dessert. If yeah, you want, it's okay? just you know, it's just one of those things that some of the changes are so apparent uh, that that would come. So basically, you want to see this on PC, and then the mod community <laughs> basically fix everything that you don't like about yeah, it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't think they're putting out a PC <laughs> version though. So what? And also, I don't know why this game is Letterbox. Uh, yeah, I don't no, know. Does it ever? Did it, I don't know. If it, did it go full screen during a cutscene or something? No, oh. no. Huh. But uh, huh. that that is Dragon's Dogma. Well, thanks, Patrick. Uh, hopefully, you understand a little bit more, Vinny, or maybe not. I don't know. There's something about hearts. Hearts. Dra dragons eat hearts. Oh yeah, that's the setup to the game. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Thanks, Patrick. <laughs>